common Thai verbs. 30 common Thai verbs นะคะโอเคทุกคนคะวันนี้ครูสมุกจะสอนภาษาไทยนะคะสอนภาษาไทย30 common Thai verbs for beginners part 2 why part 2 part 2 because you know I have already you know set up a live lesson before last year for part 1 I already taught the 30 verbs the part 1 already so if you never seen it or if you want to watch it again please feel free to click on the link that i will attach in the chat no there i attached the chat already no huh all right thank you julie okay next thing huh first of all why it's important to learn sentence structure this sentence structure is like in english you have subject you have verb and you have the object in every sentence, it should contain one verb. That's why learning verbs is really important because it also means that you can, you know, make, create unlimited sentences when you have verbs to express. Many Thai people, many Thai people do not really like, you know, skip the subject. They skip the subject. What is the word I in Thai? For male, for, for male speaker. Feel free to unmute yourself, Naha, to answer me. What is the word I in Thai? Pom. Pom, exactly, oh. right? Oh, what is the oh, female oh. I in Thai? Chan. Chan, exactly. If you are a male speaker, you always say yourself, you always call yourself Pom. But if you are a female, you always call yourself Chan. All right? But many times Thai people skip the subject part to speak more naturally. We skip the subject. However, if you are a beginner, I believe many of you are the beginner. Hands up. Who are the beginner here? Ah, if you are a beginner, please always include the subject to avoid misunderstanding. All right. So you have subject and followed by verb. Uh -huh. So, and then you can also follow by object and also the complementive for the, you know, complementive particle for the sentence. We're not going to touch upon other part, but verbs today. I'm not, I'm not going to only teach you 30 verbs, but I will also show you how to use those verbs in a proper sentences. It's important. Because it's unlike other language, we have different way to express. That's why I'm here to explain to you how to use those verbs correctly and properly. All right, are you ready? All right, here. Let's start. Right. First verb. To walk, to walk in Thai is the word dun, dun. The con can feel free to unmute yourself and pronounce together with me. Dun. 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 Exactly. Well, dun. in English, you know, in English, we don't have a sound. So I write it like this. It sounds more like dun, like modern but without the R sound, okay? So more like dun, dun. Nah, dun, flat tone. Dun means to walk. For example, Chan dun bai sathani BTS. Chan dun bai sathani BTS. Let's take, a, let's take a look at this main part. Chan dun. What does it mean, Kash Chandan? I walk. I walk, exactly. But if you want to say that you walk to somewhere, you walk somewhere to a location, it's important that you add the word by. You add the word by, nah, by, plus the destination that you want to go. Ah, so the word by in this case, now normally the word by means to go. By, I go to school. But 
ไป in this case นะคะ is work it works as the word to in Thai it's like I walk to BTS station ฉันเดินไปสถานี BTS make sense เข้าใจไหมคะอ่าเข้าใจนะคะเห็นไหมคะ see that you know you have to learn how to use that verb and how to use This verb in the proper sentence in a practical example. n nah? so first verb ค่ะ the word เดินทุกคนพูดค่ะเดินเดินเดินเดิน All right. Next one ค่ะ here. Ah, here the word wing. 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 Ah, the tone go up. Wing. And down, so it's go like this: wing, wing. wing. But make it faster: wing, wing. wing. Exactly. Wing. Ah, okay. Wing. Ma, ha, wing. Na, nah. wing is to run. Wing is to wing. run. So if you want to say I walk, as a female speaker, I would say, ฉันวิ่ง right? ฉันวิ่ง There is a there is a verb ค่ะ here wing jogging อ่ะ wing jogging <laughs> wing jogging means to jog so it's like a running but not so fast just like you jog ภาษาไทยนะคะ in Thai language เรียกว่า wing jogging อ่ะ so again if you want to say I run to The toilet. <laughs> Let's say I run to the toilet. Um, wing. Um, wing. Hong Nam. Ah, one second. Um, wing. Hong Nam. Hong Nam. Um, wing. Hi, Hong Nam. Wing. Two. In this case, I'd already taught you before. How do you say two? In this case. Bye. 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 Exactly. Um, wing. Bye. The word toilet is. Hong Nam. Hong Nam. Hong Nam. Ah, okay. I, I put a tone mark for you. Hong Nam. Nah. Pom. Wing. Bye. Hong Nam. This is how you say I run to the toilet. Okay. See, you already learned how to say to walk, the wing to run, and if you want to put the location, oh sorry, the destination that you go to. You need the word by plus destination. Okay, เข้าใจไหมคะเข้าใจเข้าใจใจดีมากเลยค่ะอ่ะต่อไปนะคะทุกคน next มาแล้วค่ะนี่เลยค่ะขึ้นขึ้นขึ้นสระอื่ This vowel sound doesn't exit in English. It sounds like this. Uh, exactly. It comes from the throat here, and your your teeth, your mouth here will be like this. Uh, on the side. Uh, uh, can you try? Exactly. With a falling tone, the word uh, "kun" with the falling tone means to get up on. This is used for taking the transportation. Well, at the beginning already, we start from to walk, to run, to get on the, the transportation. This is how you commute. This is how you travel around. So you can use the word "kun," nah, "kun" as to get up on with a transportation. For example, I let's say I took, I took BTS. I took. If you don't know, if you never live in Thailand or visit Thailand, we have BTS. It's not a Korean. It's not a Korean now. Uh, superstar, nah. It's the name of the public sky train system in Bangkok. Nah, BTS, BTS, nah. So I took the BTS. How do you say I took the BTS? Kun. 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 BTS. 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 Very good. 
And if you want to say I took the BTS to, let's say to Tong Law. Tong Law is a district, is an area in Bangkok. So. Very good. 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 ขึ้นรถเมรถเมรถเมรถเมรถเมรถเมรถเมรถเมรถเมรถเมรถเมรถเมรถเมรถเมรถเมรถเมรถเมรถเมรถเมรถเมรถเมรถเมรถเมรถ
means to sit. But you can also use the verb nang as a verb with you know public with, with the transportation. But I would say the word nang sound a bit more more like let's say a private one. Of course, you can also say nang BTS. That's fine, but it means that you have to sit. Sometimes when you stand on the bus, you better say kun because you don't sit, you don't nang. You know what I mean? So nang mostly come with like a taxi, grab. You know, do that grab, meh grab. Application grab. Na riek rot na can call the taxi. Na. Nang. Ah, so nang means to sit, and it also means to take a private transportation. For example, I take taxi to. I take taxi home. Well, in Thai we need the word to for location. In English, you don't need to home, right? Okay. So how do you say? Please type in the chat. I'm checking now in the chat. How do you say? I take. Taxi home. Type down in the chat, ค่ะพิมพ์ในคอมเมนต์เลยนะคะผมนั่งแท็กซี่กลับบ้าน Ah, <laughs> so many types. Okay, let me see the chat quickly here. ผมนั่งแท็กซี่ Wow, all of you are not beginner at all. <laughs> you use the word กลับบ้าน instead of ไปบ้าน Ah, this is a trick. Look, I take a taxi in Thai. Is ฉันเอาผมนั่งแท็กซี่ใช่ไหมคะแท็กซี่ซี่อ่าฮะ and I told you that the word to is by home is บ้าน but this is not the correct one there is a specific word to use with home you don't say go home you say return home so that's why you don't say ไปบ้าน you say กลับบ้านฉันนั่งแท็กซี่กลับบ้านฉันนั่งแท็กซี่กลับบ้าน I took a taxi home make sense make sense นะคะอ่ะต่อไปค่ะ take a look here you can also use the word นั่ง as to sit with the word long that I told you that I taught you before so นั่ง long นั่ง long means to sit down See, the word long is not just only to get off, to get down, like to get off something. Because think about it, when you take a bus, you you go up on the stair of the bus. So that's why it's called kun, as to get up on, and to get off, you have to walk down long. So nang long, na directional verb. Nang long means to sit down. All right. Good. If you understand, nah, in the live, um, in the Facebook, please, you know, press the button like, nah, show me a like, ah, if you understood. All right. ต่อไปนะคะ So let me review quickly. We went through many verbs that you can use to travel. เดิน to walk. Wing to run. ขึ้น To get up on, to take. Long to get off. Nang is useful to sit on a public, sit on a transportation, sit on a taxi, sit on a grab. Okay, meha. And if you want to tell the destination again, use the word by plus destination. Except the word go home, you say. Gaban. Gaban, game ma. Mm, very good. All right, let's continue. Next verbs. This one, ha. Huh? The word "lao" with a falling tone. Lao. Ah, lao means to tell a story. In the past video, first part of the 30 common verbs. The last video, I already taught you the word "speak." How do you say speak in Thai? Put. Put. Oh, good pronunciation. Do it. Put. Falling tone. Like that. But if you want to tell a story, as in you explaining a situation, what's happened, and you kind of share a story to you with your friend, you don't say put. You don't say ball. Ball is to tell. Ball. 
is to tell. No, we don't just tell, but we tell a story. We use the word lao. So if you want to say, I tell, I will tell a story. I will tell you a story. This one is a bit tricky. I will tell you a story. The word will, do you know the word will for future tense? What is ja. it? Ja. 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 So ja. I will. Ja. Ja. Tell you a story. This is another thing that I want to teach you. In English, you say tell someone something. Give someone something. Buy someone something. Not like that. Okay, right? verb. And then something come first. Okay? And then you can just say someone. Hi. Mm, exactly. You might also need the word to in Thai, right? Verb something to someone or for someone. You can use the word hi. Falling tone. Hi. Hi in this case means two or four. Okay. So take a look here to Konha. I will tell you a story. This is not how Thai people say. We actually say, I will tell a story to you. Ah, okay, my. Nah, ni loy du kon ha. Bab ni pit na ha. Kon Thai mai bok wa I will tell you a story. Kon Thai bok wa I will tell a story to you. Ah, take a look here. Chan cha alay ha. Tell you. Lao. Lao. Do you know the word a story? Lao Rung. 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 Rung is a story. Chinja Rao Rung. Hi. Hi, Kun. We actually, in this case, we need the word fang to listen. I will tell, I will tell you a story. I will tell a story to you to listen. It's, this is something that as an introduction for you. Of course, there's many things to learn about this. Thai verbs sometimes, when you say, so, when, you, when you use the verb, sometimes if you use the word hi, it also have to include a purpose of doing it. For you to listen. In English, you don't have to say, I will tell a story. I will, will, I will tell you a story to listen. Like, I mean, you listen anyway if I tell a story, right? Like in English. But in Thai, as an introduction for you, this exists. This thing exists in order to speak naturally. You can note this down later and you can continue with the courses with my lessons later. But this is an introduction. Uh -huh. Fang in this case means to listen. Mm. I will tell you a story. I will tell a story to you to listen. This is how Thai people say. But anyway, the main word of the word to tell a story is lao or lao rung, tell a story. โอเคมั้ยคะโอครับอ่าค่ะว่าไงคะอ่าปกติได้ยินว่าไม่ใช่คําคุณแล้วก็เราให้ฟังอืมโอเคโอเคคุณเอดริกแทงกิวฟอร
part of it is you cut the subject and you cut the object. So instead of saying ฉันจะเล่าเรื่อง you just say จะเล่าเรื่องให้คุณฟัง you just cut คุณ out you just cut คุณให้ฟัง This is how type you know when we speak in you know in with friends we always make it short make it efficient <laughs> mm. Na, nah, Khun Eric. Now you understand. Nah, it actually has to be lao hai khun fang. But Thai people skip the subject and object. Okay, meh ha. Ah, to Khun ha. One thing I know that many people here, many of you are beginners, so you don't rush through. The best thing for beginner to do is to understand a complete sentence. To understand a complete sentence, where. How and why you fill in these words, and later on, after you feel more familiar, you feel more confident with a complete sentence, you can continue by you know you can improve your natural speaking skill by just cut out subject object by just shorten thing by just adding particle. But first, as a beginner. Make thing right. You might sound like a textbook at the beginning, but at least people understand you. You want to be under. You want to be able to understand and be understood. That's the key for beginner. Okay. Ah, so the word lao na ha lao is to tell a story. Lao reng. ต่อไปค่ะ another word I think it's very important to learn. The word atibai. ทุกคนพูดค่ะ atibai. อธิบายอธิบายอธิบายอธิบายอ่ะ what does it mean คะอธิบาย explain explain to explain well I mean I wrote it here I know <laughs> <laughs> yes to explain something for one for someone to listen mm. อธิบาย I think this is a very good word to learn because you know when you learn Thai you need more explanation please explain Well, if you want to say, please explain this to me. ภาษาไทยบอกว่าช่วยอธิบายให้หน่อย Think, take a look at here. The word ช่วย I will do this one. The word ช่วย and the word หน่อย This is a form when you want to ask or request something. All right. As the word please, many people know the word please as the word karuna. Have you heard this word before? เคยได้ยินไหมคะการุณาเคยครับเคยหรือว่าโปรดเคยได้ยินไหมคะโปรดโปรดไม่พูดนะคะ It's mean please, but if you Google it, this will pop up. But you don't say that. No, do not say that. If you don't want to sound like, oh, if you don't want to sound like, how do you say, like an advertisement or announcement, you use the word "shui." Shui actually means help. Thai people say, "Help me do something." And "noi" means like, yes, for a bit, please. You know, just for a bit, "noi." So "shui noi" is a form. To ask someone to do something as please, you can also say ช่วยอธิบายหน่อย That's fine. ช่วยอธิบายหน่อย Please explain. But I add the word ให้ It's come from ให้ผมฟัง Remember ให้ผม for me as an object ฟังอิสซิลิสันบัตยูแคนคัดอิตเอาอิฟยูไลค But the full thing would be ช่วยอธิบายให้ผมฟังหน่อย But I would just say you can cut this part out of the word ผมฟังเหี้ย Oops. ช่วยอธิบายให้ผมออให้ฉันฟังหน่อย Like this. This is a complete one. 
อธิบาย but if you wanna make it very very quick just say ช่วยอธิบายหน่อยช่วย this is for beginner นะอธิบายหน่อยช่วยอธิบายหน่อยค่ะช่วยอธิบายหน่อยครับ please explain in a very sim simplest way นะช่วยอันหน่อย at the end is please got it โอเคนะ if you wanna say please come here please come here how do you say มานี่หน่อยอ่ะมานี่หน่อยมานี่หน่อย but if you wanna be polite ช่วยมานี่หน่อยอ่าช่วยมามา is come from ช่วยมาที่นี่หน่อย but look I want to make it more casual you can just say you can skip the word ช่วยนะ just say มานี่หน่อย well this is this is for more like intermediate Like upper beginner level to cut things out, okay? But this is a complete sentence. You need "shui" and "noi" at the end, and verb here. Okay, me ha? Tip for you. Ah, ba, bai to ha. Bai to means let's go on. Bai to ha. Bai to. Hmm, bai to. Ma. Another word that you can use. Son. Son. Don't pronounce the R sound. Nah, it's actually all. So it's more like this, you know, in the phonetics. All. ทุกคนทำแบบนี้ all. สอนสอนเก่งมากค่ะสอนสอน means to teach. นี่ค่ะพ่อพ่อสอนพ่อสอนลูกพ่อสอนสอนลูก Dad teaches the son the kid the child พ่อสอนลูกนะคะสอนนะคะ so you can also use the word สอน something hi someone remember this is I taught you before teach someone something in Thai we say teach something hi someone for example ฉันไอสอนภาษาไทย I teach Thai ฉันสอนภาษาไทยให้ชาวต่างชาติชาวต่างชาติ mean foreigners ฉันสอนภาษาไทยให้ชาวต่างชาติ I teach Thai for foreigners basically I teach foreigners Thai this is an example โอเคไหมคะอืมนะ the word สอนสอนภาษาไทยสอนภาษาอังกฤษสอนร้องเพลงร้องเพลง is to sing สอนร้องเพลง is teach singing สอนร้องเพลงสอนภาษาไทย alright โอเคนะคะต่อไปค่ะ here to order in Thai is สั่งสั่ง For example, to order food, how do you say? สั่งอาหารสั่งอาหารเก่งมากค่ะสั่งอาหารสั่งอาหารอืมสั่งอาหาร to order food. Okay. To order food panda. <laughs> I'm not doing any promotion with them. I just, I just use Food Panda. So if you want to say to order Food Panda, it's an application to order food in in Bangkok, no? To order Food Panda, you can just say Sang Food Panda. 
it mean สั่งอาหาร delivery อ่ะสั่ง food panda สั่ง food panda อืมสั่งนะคะ if you want to say I would like to order food ผมอยากสั่งอาหาร Hmm. I would like to order food. I heard somebody say, "Pom ya sang ahan." Well, that means I want to, as in you, you, you tell your how how, how your willingness. You tell your will that oh, I feel like I want to order. Pom ya sang ahan. But if you want to talk to the waiter and the waitress, like, "Excuse me, sir," like "Pika," you say. ขอสั่งอาหารผมขอขอขอ mean would like to ผมขอสั่งอาหาร sorry sometimes I skip the the mark This one is correct one to say when you want to talk to the waiter and the waitress. Okay. Okay. But ผมอยากสั่งอาหารนี่ you can talk to your friend like hey I want I want to order now. But then when you talk to the waiters and waitress, you want to say I would like to order food. ผมขอสั่งอาหารโอเคไหมคะนะสั่งสั่งอาหารป่ะไปต่อค่ะ Here, the word "hi." You like wait. The word "hi" means four or two, right? I mentioned before here. Can someone pass a Thai hi? Hi in this case mean two or four, but see, besides being a preposition, you can use the word "hi" as a verb in different way. <laughs> the first way. Hi, direct translation means to give. Hi, something, someone, or to someone. Remember, in English, you say I give mom, I give, I give my mom a gift. But คนไทยไม่ใช่นะคะภาษาไทยไม่ไม่ใช่แบบนั้นภาษาไทยพูดว่า I give the gift to my mom, right? It's always like that. So that's why you say ฉันให้ของขวัญแม่ You don't have to say ให้แม่ It's it's just ให้ and ให้ It's just confusing. Just use the word ให้ here as a verb. As a verb to give. ฉันให้ของขวัญแม่ทุกคนคะอันนี้คือของขวัญค่ะของขวัญนี่ของขวัญกล่องของขวัญสีแดงนะคะฉันให้ของขวัญแม่ I give my mom the gift, or I give the gift to my mom in Thai. Hi. Okay, meha. Ah, please show me the thumb. Like, 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 like. If you understand, ข้าใจนะ Okay, ไปต่อค่ะ Another word of the word hi is to allow. To allow, to give a permission. Hi. Hmm. For example, me hi chan pai tiao. See, me hi chan. Mom allows me to pai tiao. Ha. What does it mean? Ha. Pai tiao. Holiday, crap. Ah, to go travel. to to travel, or it could also mean to go out as well, na, like to go out out. ไปเที่ยวแม่ให้ฉันไปเที่ยว Mom let me go travel, or my mom give a permission to go travel. Mom let me go travel. So the word hi means to allow, to give a permission to, or basically, let, to let. 
Okay. If you want to say the teacher allows me, the teacher lets me, like allows me to speak English. Ah, uh, do you know how to say that? Please type in the chat card. The teacher lets me speak English. The teacher lets me speak English. Crew. Hi. Chan. Oh, hi, Pom. Put. Tasa. Angry. Tasa. Angry. No, angry. But take a look here, guys. If you want to say doesn't allow, you have to say my hi. And then verb at the end. Look, แม่ให้ฉันไปเที่ยว Mom lets me go out or go travel. แม่ไม่ให้ฉันไปเที่ยว Mom doesn't let me go out or go travel. Okay, ไหมคะ Okay. Hmm. Na so hi with two meanings to give and to allow. Ah, ไปต่อนะคะต่อไป before you say hi is to let to allow, my hi means not allow. But if you want to say to forbid, you use the word ham. 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 It means like, it's like, like this, do not swim. Do not swim. Um, my name. Here. Um. Um. Tini. Why nam? Ah, the word swim is why nam. Why nam? Why nam to swim? Nah. Here is. Well, it's more like the word ham is used for like a sign because it's more like a rule or more like um the authority tell you not to do something. You use the word ham. But if you just want yeah. to forbid oh. your friend not the authority let's say but more like hey don't don't swim it's dangerous here you use the word yeah okay yeah. why the word harm is more like well, you will see that sign that that it's written harm because it's more like a authority like announcement the authority announced that you're not allowed to to forbid see the word harm is more like official announcement Yeah. While the word yeah, it's more yeah. like spoken. Yeah. Spoken, let's say, spoken language. You talk with your friend, not an announcement. For example, if you want to tell your kid, hey, or your friend, hey, don't swim. Don't swim. The water is too, too cold. <laughs> I mean, yeah, not a case in Thailand, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but if you want to say, don't, okay, let's say, don't eat this. Yeah, gin. Yeah, gin. Uh, gin ani. Ah. Yeah. You use the word yeah. Yeah, gin ani. This one ani or ni. Yeah, gin ni na. Yeah, gin ni. Yeah, gin ni. Oh, yeah, gin ni. Oh, yeah, gin ani. See. This is how you use the word, do not, okay? So look.
can to forbid by the official announcement as an official announcement but the word yeah it is more like hey don't like don't don't speak too loud don't go out don't tell this don't run Oh, right but just the word ham is more like for the official announcement okay na ขอดู like หน่อยค่ะเข้าใจนะคะเข้าใจโอเคเข้าใจอ่ะไปต่อค่ะต่อไปค่ะมาแล้ว the word t t means to hit because for sanskrit to hit can be hit by a car to hit by, I don't know, many things, but these use more like with, with hands. See? พ่อจะตีลูกไม่ได้นะเอเชียนสไตล์มากใช่มั้ยคอยไม่ค่อยโดนตีมั้ยคะตอนเป็นเด็กๆอ่ะโดนตีนะคะอ่ะตีมีน
วิ่งชนได้ไหมวิ่งชน run and hit วิ่งชนโอเค but there is a word that I want to teach you this one the word รถชน means car crash นะคะรถชน it's a it's it's a noun car crash รถชนรถ means car โอเคไหมคะโอเคป่ะไปต่อนะคะ so you have hit t t tennis b bat b b กล้อง and you have the word ชนนะ not by hand with the body ต่อไปค่ะ hear the word ส่งส่งส่งส่ง what does it mean คะส่ง to send to send exactly well it's clear ส่งนะคะ for example to send email how do you say send email ส่งอีเมลส่งอีเมลส่งอีเมลอีเมลส่งอีเมล like this email what w h e n ส่งอีเมล Send food. Deliver food. ส่งอาหาร Send อาหารมากค่ะส่งอาหาร Hmm. Ah, s o n But if you want to say like send something to someone, like send someone something. ภาษาอังกฤษจะบอกว่าอะไรคะ I send you an email. แบบภาษาภาษาไทยไม่ใช่ใช่ไหมคะจำได้ไหมภาษาไทย I send something first to someone so if you want to say I will send the picture to you I will send you a picture how do you say คะผมจะผมจะส่งรูปให้คนไทยใครคุณใครคุณค่ะฉันจะส่งรูปให้ส่งรูป make sense อ่าโอเคไหมคะโอเคนะ like this อ่า I saw some people post on Instagram นะ the story นะคะ and tag me so in case if you wanna take a you know photo of our lessons or videos and post it on your social media don't forget to hashtag banana life or to tag me banana Thai school นะนะ so I can repost your post later ต่อไปค่ะส่งนะ to send the word to fill in you say เติมเติม to fill in to fill up เติม for example to fill in the gas มีใครรู้ไหมเติมแก๊สเติมแก๊สอ่ะเติมแก๊ส well you know คนไทยนะคะคำว่า gas เนี่ย could also mean fuel น้ำมันเออ but คนไทย if you say gas หรือว่าก๊าซหรือแก๊สเนี่ย is gas is not oil or benzene if you want to say benzene or diesel like oil you say น้ำ so we do two things fill the gas and fill the oil okay first one เติมแก๊สเติมแก๊ส And fill in the oil. It's the nam man. The nam man. Nam man means oil. Nam is water. Man is oily, oily water. Nam man. Na tem. Ni he mai. Tem nam man ha. เขากำลังเติมน้ำมันรถเติมน้ำมันรถนะคะต่อไปเพิ่ม
Ờ uh, means to fill in from what it's gone. For example, Krusmuk mi nam ka ani mam. Dum nam. Nam lua krung gel. Only half a glass. Pum nam. See, you fill in. Nah, pum. To fill in what it's gone or what it's like empty. Pum. Why the word pum? Same uh, sound. Do you want to talk about it? Uh. Uh. Ah. Ah. Tum. This is to add on. To add on, meaning that you add something on top of something. Um. For example, Shin ao go go. I want go go is like a a Thai drink, like a drink, you know, cacao drink. Go go, we say go go. Shin ao go go. Pum whipping cream, ha. I want cacao with the you know whipping cream on top. Add whipping cream. Whipping cream, not who whipped cream in English. No, we don't say whipping cream. We don't say whipped cream. We say whipping cream. Whipping cream. Ah, see, see. I'll go go. Add whipping cream. I'll go go. Add whipping cream. So the word "pum" means add on. For example, if you say, "Ah, I'll I'll." เอ่อเอาก๋วยเตี๋ยวค่ะแต่ว่าเพิ่มเส้น uh, I want noodle bowl add on the noodles เพิ่มเส้น Okay or you can also say um ครุสมุก uh, ice cream เพิ่ม topping I want ice cream with the add with the add-on of topping. Perm. Perm and perm. ต่อไปค่ะคำนี้เลยสำคัญมาก Very important. To take a photo in Thai is ถ่ายรูป ถ่ายรูป ครูสมุก ชอบถ่ายรูป คุณชอบถ่ายรูปไหม? ชอบครับ ชอบครับชอบมากครับครับชอบมากครุสมุกชอบถ่ายรูปแต่ไม่ชอบถ่ายเซลฟี่นะถ่ายรูปเห็นมั้ยเนี่ยผู้ชายคนนี้กำลัง
to uh -huh. exit or to get out. If you want to say, I get out of the house. Pom. 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 Of ban. Ah, see, there's a bit one thing missing. Chan. Of dark ban. Of dark ban. Of dark ban. How from? Of dark ban. See, I think that's you. You you already see why is it important to learn how to use the verb with the example of the sentence. You're not gonna just learn word and then remember. Verb, remember, verb, remember, that is not the most sustainable way to learn. You have to learn with the correct example. Uh -huh. See, to get in, to enter, cow, cow ban. To get out, or ban. You know the word or oh, mean get out, right? It's, it can also be I left, I am, I leave home. I am leaving home. Uh, let's say if, if you want to tell your friend, oh, oh I'm, I'm leaving, I'm leaving now. I'm going to you, I'm leaving. You can say, Chan Gamlang. You use the word Gamlang as in a particle for tense that you are doing, currently doing something right now. Chan Gamlang or. อืมออกจากบ้านค่ะเก่งมากเลยทุกคน very good นะ you go อ๋อ okay, okay. next one here <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this one, I mean, it's important. It's a verb. This one. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I do know. In English, you wouldn't say I'm pooping or I want to poop. I, I, you know, you just say I want to go to the toilet, right? So if you want to say I go to the toilet, how do you say go to the toilet? But you know what? Thai people don't say by Hong Nam. We say how Hong Nam. You don't see? This is also another thing. You don't always translate expression or <coughs> sentence just english to like you know direct like, directly thai people don't say go to the toilet we say get in the toilet sound a bit um get in the toilet <laughs> get in <laughs> ah, oh, enter the toilet let's say we say oh, 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 i want to go to the toilet i want to get in the toilet yeah Mm, we just use the word cow, right? Cow, hong. Yeah. Right. So, ooh, it's a clear way that it's truly number two. Is it number one or number two? Ooh, ooh, number two, right? Yes, number two. <laughs> but there are many ways to say this word is a very casual and I would say very casual and informal word, the word key. But, but key, but key, like it's, I don't even use it. Like I use, uh, uh, it's a bit, it's casual, but it's still nice. But key means like shit in English, you know? I go shit. Like it doesn't, it sounds really, really informal. Hi, this is the formal way. Ujara. Mangap Thai rope. Yeah, it's a Thai. <laughs> now you ask me, what are the relations between Thai and Thai? Rup. Thai, you just <laughs> take it all out, like, bruh, right? Think about in the, in, in, the, in the past, you take a photo, the theme photo, the Polaroid mm -hmm. photo, you tie, and then the photo came out, bruh. It's mm -hmm. like, 
sorry, like a poop came out, you know? Hi. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not sure, ma, but this is my logic. I think it works. It, it kind of makes sense. Hi. Nah. And then you have ujara, which means poo as a noun. If you want to say like, so this one, ki ujara, can be both verb and noun, different on the level. Okay. Key Utara can be both verb and noun. Uh, cute, cute. He very informal and Utara very formal. Informal. And this one is more like casual. You have the word Lao. You have the word she. 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 she is cute, cute. Yeo is inf informal. And Pasawa is formal. Okay. Hmm. Depends on how you how you use it. One second, I think I make a mistake with the slide. It has to be but. Sawa, like this. Pasawa. But you know, in Thai, like in the spoken language, we say patsawa, not patsawa. We say patsawa. Mm. This is a correct way to write, uh -huh, to pee. Uh -uh. We go through this quickly, just you know how to say that. But if you want to say it very general, like, gen you want to say it in, in a general, general way? Kao Hong Nam. ไม่ใช่ไปห้องน้ำนะเข้าห้องน้ำเข้าห้องน้ำอืมอ่าไรท์ hmm. right. next one ค่ะ the word กด means to press กด like กด subscribe กด like กด share like banana Thai กด like กด share so to press to click กด well not to click but to 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 press click in Thai is click นะคะเหมือนภาษาอังกฤษเลยนะคะคลิก God means to press, na. God, boom. For example, God lift. God lift. God lift. Means to press on the lift button. The elevator button. God lift. God lift. Chan song. Please press the but the elevator the elevator button second floor. God lift. Chan song. Hmm. This word is also an important word. The word Dao. Dao. Dao ก็เหมือนกับคิดอ่ะไม่รู้ไม่รู้แต่พยายามคิดอะไรนะอืมอะไรนะ Dao. To guess. If you want to say guess, just guess. If you want to Dao say down see, down see, down noi, down noi, see, see, it's a particle, na huh? I will again, you know, host a live live lesson maybe with the particle next time, na. Huh? So see means like. <laughs> It's like a particle that have no meaning, but it comes with the intention of the person, like recommend or kind of command a bit, command a person to do, or like encourage and command at the same time. Dao si, hoi, guess, guess, guess. Dao si. Dao tu means guess correctly. Hoi dao tu ga, hoi. You guessed correctly. Dao tu. Dao pit. Dao pit. Dao pit means you guess wrong. Dao mai pit. Dao mai pit kadai ka. Dao mai pit ka dao tu. Dao mai pit ka tu. But do not careful with the word Dao Mai Tu. 
ไม่ต้องดูเดาไม่ถูก it could means I don't guess it correctly but it could also mean I don't know what to guess like I I cannot guess I don't know what to guess เดาไม่ถูกอะเฮ้ยเดาไม่ถูกเลยอะ I don't know careful นะเดาผิด guess it wrong you already guessed wrong เดาถูก you guessed correctly But dumb it all means oh, I cannot guess. I cannot think about anything. Dao, and dao si, dao si, dao si means just guess. Khon Thai, ah, you know, sometimes Thai people like to ask about age. They're like, oh, do you think how old I am because they look so young, you know? <laughs> and like they will, like, they like you to say like dao 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 si dao dao. Like listen, please guess, please guess. Hmm, nah ha. ต่อไปค่ะคำนี้เลยลืม means forget very important word <coughs> forget นะะลืมแล้ว I forgot it already <coughs> แล้ว mean already forgot it already เฮ้ยขอโทษลืมแล้วอะลืมแล้วลืมแล้ว forgot it อย่าลืม remember what does it mean เรียนแล้วค่ะ you already learned Do not don't forget. Don't forget. Bye, ค่ะอย่าลืม Don't forget. ลืมอย่าลืมนะ Don't forget. จำค่ะจำ To remember opposite word, no? ลืม and จำ Sorry, I don't know why I put this photo. <laughs> I think I forgot to change the photo. <laughs> จำ means remember. จำได้ means I can remember. Well, you know, in English, no one say I can remember. I just say I remember, right? Hey, I remember. If you say in Thai, I remember. You say ผมจำผมจำ It means that you are remembering. You need to add the word die, which means can. I can remember. I remember. จำไม่ได้ means I can't remember, right? In English, you just say I remember, but in Thai we have to say I can remember. จำได้ and จำไม่ได้ I can't remember. จำไม่ได้อ่ะลืมแล้วจำไม่ได้อ่ะลืมแล้วอ่ะลืมแล้วอ่ะว่าง I can't remember. I forgot. ใช่ค่ะเก่งมากเลยนะ Ah, just a few left. Only three left, nah. Before we come to the Q and A session together, the word เปลี่ยนเปลี่ยนทุกคนพูดค่ะเปลี่ยนเปลี่ยนเปลี่ยนเปลี่ยนเปลี่ยน Look, look, look. Not, not เปลี่ยนมา Look, it start. It start here flat tone. เปลี่ยนเปลี่ยนเปลี่ยนเปลี่ยนเปลี่ยนเปลี่ยนคนนี้กำลังเปลี่ยนหลอดไฟค่ะกำลังเปลี่ยนหลอดไฟเห็นไหมเขากำลังเปลี่ยนหลอดไฟเปลี่ยนหลอดไฟ change state uh, train หลอดไฟ means like you know the light bulb okay หลอดไฟเปลี่ยนหลอดไฟเปลี่ยนหลอดไฟ you can also use the word เปลี่ยน for other thing for example like change your mind เปลี่ยนใจเปลี่ยนใจเปลี่ยนใจ what does it mean ครับเปลี่ยนใจ Change your heart. Change your mind. Change your, <laughs> your heart, but you know Thai people don't speak of mind. They use the word heart. Lian Zai. Change my heart or change my mind. Lian Zai. To change the mind. Lian Zai, แล้วค่ะ I change my mind. Lian Zai, แล้วขอโทษนะเปลี่ยนใจแล้วอ่ะไม่ไปแล้วค่ะเออเปลี่ยนใจ
ืมเปลี่ยนแผน change the plan อแผนแผนก็แปลนแผนแผนอ่า rising rising tone change the plan เปลี่ยนเวลาเหรอคะ change time อืมเปลี่ยนแฟนใหม่ได้ไหมเปลี่ยนเวลา to change time and last one to change a girlfriend or boyfriend ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้เปลี่ยนแฟนเปลี่ยนเมียเปลี่ยนเมีย change your life oh my god that's quite extreme เปลี่ยนนะคะอ่ะโอเค Last two ค่ะ the word จ่าย means to pay จ่ายเงินสด means to pay cash จ่ายเงิน money สด fresh fresh money or cash จ่ายเงินสดนะคะ yes. and another one is จ่ายบัตรเครดิตจ่ายบัตรก็ได้ค่ะ pay with card บัตรเครดิตบัตรเดบิตนะคะจ่ายบัตรบัตรอะซาวบัตรจ่ายบัตร if you want to ask where can I pay where can I pay or where do I pay จ่ายที่ไหนจ่ายที่ไหนอ uh, ่ะจ่ายยังไง wait wait w what is the word where again ที่ไหนที่ไหนที่ไหนจ่ายเงินจ่ายเงินที่ไหนจ่ายเงินที่ไหนคะจ่ายเงินที่ไหนจ่ายเงินที่ไหนอืมจ่ายเงินที่เคาน์เตอร์แคชเชียร์ค่ะจ่ายเงินที่ไหนคะอ่าจ่ายเงินที่แคชเชียร์อืมจ่ายจ่ายเงินที่ไหนครับ Last one, ค่ะ the word to sell. To sell in Thai is the word buy. I already taught you the word buy in Thai. What is the word to buy in Thai? To buy. To sell is buy. For example, ผู้หญิงคนนี้กำลังขายผลไม้ผู้หญิงคน Woman sells fruit. fruit. Exactly. He's selling fruit. ผู้หญิง Girl. คนนี้ผู้หญิงอ่า woman นะคะ This woman. คนนี้ขายผลไม้นะผู้หญิงผู้หญิงคนนี้ this lady ขายผลละไม้อ่าผู้หญิงคนนี้ขายผลไม้เขาขายผลไม้เขาเป็นแม่ค้าขายผลไม้แม่ค้าขายผลไม้ means fruit seller for the female fruit seller female fruit seller แม่ค้าขายผลไม้ if you want to say a fruit seller but a male how do you say พ่อพ่อ so funny แม่ค้าแม่ mom and daddy พ่อ Man means mom. Pa means dad. So mecha means a sell a, a female sailor. Pa means a male sailor. Pa ka kai p o l a m a i Pa ka kai 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 p o l a m a i Mm, no word. Buy. Buy. What are you selling? 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 Buy. What are you selling?
ขายทุเรียนขายทุเรียนอ๋อขายทุเรียนเหรอคะเป็นพ่อค้าขายทุเรียนใช่ไหมคะคุณเป็นพ่อค้าขายทุเรียนใช่ไหมคะไม่ใช่ครับใช่เหรอไม่ใช่อะโอเค so the word ขาย means to sell so here you go we already got the thirty verbs Nah, it's a lot to learn, but no worries. Nah, I will save these notes and will resend you the notes to your email as well, so you can review later with my slides. So, any question? มีคำถามไหมคะ Q and A. มีคำถามไหมคะมีไหมไม่มีคู่ครับผมมีมีคำถาม Can um can can I see your hand first? Who 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 has a question? Ah, uh, Kun Alexis. Ah, oh, Kun Alexis. Hello. 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 For example, ขึ้นรถเมย์ขึ้นรถบัสอยู่ไหนวะอยู่นี่ I also told you that right the word ขึ้น mean also it can be used as a preposition with verb right but the word ขึ้นเนี่ย could also be used for the comparative okay let's take a look here with the word ขึ้น comparative you compare Normally, when you want to compare two different things, you use the word กว่ากว่ากว่าใช่ Let me show you, okay? It's a bit if it's new for you, no worry, right? It's quite easy to understand. Verb, oh sorry, adjective plus กว่า For example, you want to say this dog is bigger than that dog. You compare two dogs. You say. หมาตัวนี้ this dog กว่าตัวนี้ bigger what is the word big ใหญ่ใหญ่ใหญ่โลโทนนะคะใหญ่กว่าตัวนั้น bigger ใหญ่กว่า bigger ใหญ่กว่าหมาตัวนั้นหมาตัวนั้น alright see But if you want to compare, this is A. But if you want to compare the same thing in different time, you use the word adjective plus k u n Okay, k u n For example, I'm. Let's say I got. I got fatter, beautiful. Thank you. One cut. Me, I'm I was talking about my stuff. I like to say this. People like to say this. I got fatter. I gained weight. Let's say, you say tan. One. The word fat is one. Cut. See, you don't say one gua. If you say one gua, it means that. A second, cut. It has to be like this. Cut. E. Cut. อ้วนขึ้นนะคะ you use the word อ้วนขึ้น I got fatter because I'm comparing it to myself ใช่ไหม not other people if I say I'm fatter than my dad ฉันอ้วนกว่าพ่อ you use the word กว่า but if you're talking about yourself that you gain your weight then it's อ้วนขึ้น so คุณ Alex คุณ Alexis บอกว่า if you say ดีขึ้นใช่ไหมดีขึ้น so the word ดีกว่า D gua mean better if you're talking about two things. Okay, for example, um, I don't know now. Let's say Samsung D gua iPhone. Just, just, just this example now. Okay, <laughs> Samsung D gua iPhone because you compare two different things. But if you say iPhone 11, D ขึ้น D ขึ้น 
ยูแคนใจ iPhone 11ดีกว่า iPhone 10แต่ iPhone 11เนี่ยโหยดีขึ้นเยอะเลยดีขึ้นมากดีขึ้นเยอะมาก it's better you know what I mean when it compared to itself as iPhone oh, it's if you compare the models it's two models so ดีกว่า it's better than another why the word ดีขึ้น means better than, better before. than before Okay, ไหมคะคุณอเล็กซ์โอเคยัด Thank you so much for your question ค่ะอ่ะ anyone else has a question มีไหมคะ um, is um, k u n related to l u k k u n สักสักคุณนะคะอะไรนะคะ uh, is k u n can you like is that similar to when you say l u k k u n get up or l u k k u n อ๋อใช่ค่ะใช่ใช่ใช่ see as I mentioned เดินขึ้น Means up, right? Why the word turn long? Long means go down. So here I say, if you say nang long, sit down. If you say stand up, the word stand is yun or yun. Okay, let, let's let's talk about this first. Yun, yun, yeah. right? Yun. Yeah. If you say yun kun, it stand up, m i To stand is yun, but stand up is yun kun, yun kun. Another word to use as to stand up is the word look kun, as you say kun parry. Can you say the word kun? Kun. Exactly better. Look kun. Look kun. Yes, exactly. Ha, look kun. Ah, yun kun or look kun. Yun kun or look kun. Just I heard it before, and I just mm -hmm. sound right. similar. Yeah. Yeah, there are many words, many many verbs that can be used with "kun" and "long." Mm. Mm. Okay, thank you, Nakha, thank you, Perry. Ah, thank you. Um, I see someone else has a question. Let me see your hand. Who raised the hand again? One second. Kun, Kun Mia, Kun Mia Hak, right? What What's yes. your name? Uh, right. Mia. My name is Mia. Ah, Kun Mia, มาจากประเทศอะไรคะ I have a question. So when I'm, for example, at school in Thailand, mm -hmm. how can I say, um, "Can I go to the toilet, please?" Mm -hmm. Ah, so if you want to ask, right, ask for the permission. If you could go to the toilet, you know, this is something I think you already learn a lot of Thai culture. Because in okay in Thailand, when we are at school, ตอนเราอยู่โรงเรียนนะคะไปโรงเรียนเนี่ย We if you have to go to the toilet, we always have to ask the, the the teacher. Except except if you are in a university, let's say. But that is a culture. And then I did an exchange here in Germany. I stand up in the middle of the room and interrupt my teacher. Can I go to the toilet? And she was like, "Just just go. You don't have to ask." You know. <laughs> yeah. So I think you you already got it from Thailand. We have to ask now in some time just to be polite. So if you want to say to get. <laughs> Like may I go to the toilet? Let me find the word cow. You know, na the word cow. Cow, hong nam. Here. Cow. Mm. <laughs> you want to say I would like to. The word go to the toilet in Thai is what? Oh, hong nam. Right. Cow, hong nam. เข้าห้องน้ำ to get in the toilet เข้าห้องห้อง I cannot find it it's really hard to find the okay here ห้องน้ำ okay เข้าห้องน้ำ so if you want to say may I go to the toilet If you want to say I would like to, remember, I would like to. You you, you oh. use the word call. Oh. Ah, call. เข้าห้องน้ำค่ะอืมขอเข้าห้องน้ำได้ไหมคะอ่าขอเข้าห้องน้ำได้ไหมคะขอขอเข้าห้องน้ำ I would like to go to the toilet, and then you can say ได้ไหม Can I?
ได้ได้ไหมคะอืมได้ขอเข้าห้องน้ําได้ไหมคะ so ขอเข้าห้องน้ำ mean I would like to I would like to go to the toilet and ได้ไหมคะ is like can I โอเคไหมคะคุณเมียอ่า this one you can use ค่ะอ่า any other question มีไหมมีไหมมีไหมคะไม่มีแล้วนะไม่มีแล้วนะคะ could you say uh mine's probably slang could you just say pom al pom al bay Hong Nam. Yeah. Oh, you you want to say I want to go, right? I want to go to Hong Nam. Oh, you must say yuck. Okay. Because our means, if you um, I mean, you can also review again in my thirty Thai verb part one. Mm -hmm. The word "ao" is want something as a noun. Uh, okay. The word "yak" means want to. You can say "I want to go to Hong Nam." Guys, everyone, student, have the word "yak" is used to express your willingness that I want to do something. But it doesn't mean that you ask for a permission or you 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 kind of request something. So if you say "pom ya k a o n g nam," it's just like, "Hey, John, I I want to go to the toilet." Yeah, k a o n g nam, and then you just walk there. But if you ask for permission, you kind of request. You say "call," call k a o n g nam. Same thing with the word to order food. I want to order food. If you're talking to the waiter and the waitress. You rather say "chen ko sang ahan." What if you talk to your friends? Like, "Hey, okay, I'm ready now. I want to order now." อยากสั่งอาหารแล้วเนี่ย You know, you can use the word "ya." Hmm. Nah, this one. See, the level of the language is different. Ah, I saw one person raise the hand. Who is it? Please, um, please say hi to me. <laughs> Who was it? Hi, I'm Jessia. Let's see. Where are you? I cannot find you. Um. Oh, here. Found, found, found you. Okay. Yeah. So, what's up, Jessie? Uh, what can I help you? Uh, uh, can you give another interrogative example of uh for Kai? Yeah, uh, sorry, Kai. Yeah, right. Hi. Ah, uh, Kai the and. ซื้อซื้อเอ่อเขาจะเซ็ตไปเอ่อเซ็ตเอ็นไปไลค์เมย์บีดูยูเซ็ตอันแอปเปิลหรือซัมมิ่งอันไลค์แอปเปิลอ
And if you want to say good memory or like long memory, you don't say ความจำยาวนะ You say ความจำดีความจำยาว I don't know. Maybe you think that the short it's short short is long, you know, and then long. ความจำดี Good memory. เฮ้ยความจำดีมาก Okay. Okay, ไหมคะคุณเอดริกมีคำถามอีกไหม Any other question? Ah, I think I think that's it, right? Me, ไหมคะไม่มีไม่มีแล้วนะคะทุกคนนะ Thank you so much for today. I hope you learned something new, นะคะ